Okay, in this segment, we want to talk about uh, vented and non-vented ridges for the SSR uh, roof system. Now, on this side, we're set up for non-vented. What we have here is a Z closure, uh, and it does just that. It's a closure. It closes it off. Now, the way you want to anchor this down, you want to put butyl sealant tape under this flange with three fasteners. Now, it's, it's always a good idea. You can always bring a piece of ridge cap up, establish where you want this, string a line or pop a line so you get them all nice and straight. Now, you're going to get some gun grade urethane sealant, like a caulk, that you want to caulk the sides of this Z closure and then put butyl sealant tape on top. That way, the bottom top and the sides will be weather tight. Now, I've got a section of ridge cap here. Now, you can see we've got this bent down. We'll go over that in here as well. Now, you want to put the ridge cap down. You want to anchor it into the Z closure every 12 inches on center. And that will seal this off and give you a nice weather tight seal up at your ridge. Now, that's non vented. Now, if you want to vent your attic space, now it's not going to vent under the panel, it's going to vent into the attic space. So, this would be cut open to allow air to come out. Now, for our demonstration, we are going to talk about the profile vent. This is profile vent. It comes in a roll, 100 foot roll. Now, this is a profile vent clip. You're going to have one of these centered in each panel. Now, again, just like the Z closure, you want to establish where you want this, pop a line or run a string line, and then put all these profile vent clips in. Now you'll notice there's a, a large, rather large hole here. That way you can fit an extension of a nut driver through to set this screw. Now I would recommend lifting this out of the way after you've got it in. Roll out the profile vent. Notice it's notched for the seams. It'll fit right over top the seams. Once you've got it rolled out, you can come back, put the profile vent down, put another screw in. That holds the profile vent in place. Now this profile vent will allow the transmission of air, but it will not allow the weather or debris to be blown back up into your roof. Now, once you have the, the, uh, uh, the profile vent down with the clips, you're going to take your ridge cap. Now, with the non-vented, you were 12 inches on center. With the vented, you're going to have one of these profile vent clips in the center of each panel. So you're going to have one screw in the center of each panel right into this profile vent. Now, You'll, you'll reach under, you can feel the vent material, it will allow the transmission of air, like I said, and that will allow it to vent. Now, we get a lot of questions about how to close off the end of the ridge cap. We do not make plugs that you can put in there. So what we recommend doing is what we have done, which you put some cuts in it, bend it down on itself. Now, I always like to put a vertical cut on the outside one. That way it looks like the two are mitered together. Now, if you've got a screw in here like we've got on your gables, you might want to pull that screw out so you can get this guy down and then put the screw back in. And then you've got a nice finished end that you can see from the ground. And those are the two different methods for doing ridges. Now, we do have alternate venting methods. Uh, please refer to the SSR detail guide or installation guide. It'll go through the alternate venting methods for you.